Hi everybody! Today I'm going to make you a video on how to use the Sketchpad and the on-screen designer program that come with the Alissimo Gold. Um, every time I ask somebody if they've ever used their Sketchpad, they tell me no, um, with the very few exceptions. Uh, but most people don't use it, don't know how to use it, you come in for a lesson on it and forget how to do it, and it is, it is kind of uh, complicated the way that you have to get it set up. So I'm going to do a full from how to put the program on the flash drive in the first place to set up setting up your machine so that it actually um, can run the program, the on-screen designer program, uh, and then I'm going to show you how to trace uh, a design that you print out. Um, and I'm just going to go through the entire process of everything you have to do in order to use it. And uh, this way you guys can watch whenever you want how to use the, the editor, because it really is pretty cool. Um, so sit back and enjoy the video. Okay, so the way that this program actually works is you have to copy this file from a CD that came with either the, the Alismo machine when you bought it or it came with the upgrade when you bought the, um, the upgrade that has the drawing pad and stuff with it. It came with the CD. Um, so just depending on how long ago you bought your Alismo, if it's a relatively new one, like in the past couple of years, it's going to have this with it. Um, or if you had an original Alismo and bought the upgrade, it's going to be with your upgrade. It's a white CD. It says um, on-screen designer on the front of it. And it has this file that we need to put on a flash drive so that the embroidery machine uh, can run the program, the on-screen designer program, and let us do digitizing with the little tablet that we have. Uh, so the first step is to put in the CD. Um, so f locate that CD wherever it is. Um, if you can't find yours, then just come in and I'll make you a copy um, off of my copy that I have at the store. Um, but you should have it somewhere. So you open up your CD drive. I'm going to do that. And just go ahead and put the CD in. And close the drive. And at the same time, well, I'll just wait. I'll wait. So right now I'm just waiting for something to happen on my computer. What ought to happen is uh, some kind of little dialog should come up, and here it is. It's the autoplay dialog. Uh, and I'm going to choose to open folder to view files. Okay. Now if that doesn't come up automatically, you could try hitting the little folder icon down in your um, bottom left area part of your screen. You click on that and then click on the DVD drive um, if for some reason the um, autoplay doesn't come up. But most people's computers, unless somebody's messed around with it, auto automatically come up with that little interface. Um, if you're on Windows 8 instead of Windows 7, it's going to look a little bit different. It'll be kind of a blue box. It'll be up in the upper right-hand corner of your screen instead of in the middle. Um, but it'll still say, uh, essentially, what do you want to do with this? Alright, so uh, once we've told it that we want to open the folder to view files, uh, we can see that there's three different things on this. There's manual, manual index, and OS seven or OS design.rp7. Now, that's what we're looking for is OS design.rp7. That's the thing that we want. So I'm going to go ahead and take my uh, USB drive and plug it into my computer now. Just give me a second here. I'm going to reach around the back of my computer. Okay, so I've just plugged my USB drive into the computer, and uh, I get a similar little box here. It says autoplay. I'm going to choose to open folder to view files on this one as well. Okay, so uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and take this OS 7, or this, oh, <laughs> I keep saying OS 7, OS Design RP7 file. You're going to left click on it and drag. Just hold your left mouse button down and drag it over to the window that opened when you told it to open folder to view files. A bunch of pictures of Meadow when she was a baby there. That's great. I, I thought this was a blank drive, but uh, apparently it's not. Uh, but that's okay. Um, so what I've done is I left clicked on here and dragged it into the OS to, uh, in, into the uh, USB drive folder and let go and now it's on there. Once it's on there, you're you're done essentially with the with the computer. Um, but you do have to do this. If you don't, the the machine can't run the on-screen designer software. So um, anyway, if anybody has any questions uh, about this part of it, copying the thing onto the drive, uh, just give me a call. It's fairly straightforward though. 
um, and hopefully everybody will be able to do it so I'm gonna continue on with the next part of the video okay so by this point now you have the program installed uh, or just copied onto your flash drive uh, one way or another um, the next thing we have to do is set up the sewing machine so that it knows to look for the program when we turn the machine on. Uh, the way you do that is in the settings screen, which is down here at the bottom. Uh, when you turn the, uh, the Alismo machine on, you'll get to this home screen. Um, once you're there, down at the bottom left hand corner, it looks like a piece of paper. Just touch that with your finger. Um, you start off on page three. We need actually to go to the right one page. It's on page four. And what you're looking for is a line that says application check. Okay, application check. By default, it's off. Um, you just want to turn it on. If it's already on, leave it on. Okay, so we make it so that that says that's on. Hit close. That's it. Now turn your machine off. And you're going to plug in your flash drive with the program on it and you can go ahead and plug in your pad too if you want at this point. Uh, now I'm going to turn the machine back on. We wait for it to sing us its little song. Uh. Okay, and it goes straight to the slideshow. I'm just going to touch here. Ah, now that's different, isn't it? This is the on screen designer program. This will take you right back to the sewing machine. So this would bypass this screen. But the whole point of this was to get to the on screen designer program. So I'm going to touch that. And here we are. This is the on screen designer program. Um, I could just draw right on the screen if I wanted to. Look, I'm just using my finger. Woo! And that would actually turn into stitches. If I just hit set down here. <laughs> I mean, it's not a very good design, but it's a design. Alright, so we're going to get more in depth in, uh, in terms of how this program actually works here in a minute. But um, I'm going to have to uh, move around a little bit here. So this is going to be a quick edit. And uh, we'll be using the on-screen designer here in just a minute. Okay, so the different functions of the on-screen designer. Um, the, the default setting here is the pen tool, and what this does is anywhere you draw a line, it just draws a line. And uh, this is this space in here, I can just write right on the screen. I don't have to use the pad. I'm just draw on lines. I mean, this is just silly lines. It's not an actual design here, but just it illustrates the point of what the, the line tool does. So if I were to draw on here, that's what it's going to do. If I were to go and get my tablet over here, pull my Ravens logo, we're going to do the Ravens logo later. This area, <laughs> this area here, if I touch it, corresponds to my screen. And you can't see it because it was such a mess on the screen. There's this middle button down here at the bottom actually will erase everything. So here I'm going to write on the tablet and you'll see it show up on the screen. I'm drawing that on the tablet right now. And if you're an artist, you might be able to draw freehand on here. I can't do it. I'm, I'm not an artist. <laughs> um, but what's nice about this tablet is you can actually put stuff in this, this part of it here. You can put paper in there. See, it's clear and just trace off the paper and I'll show you doing that here in a bit but I want to show you some of the other functions of the software I'm going to delete this okay so the first step is drawing outlines in this so if we were making say a little happy face the first thing I would do is draw the head okay and then the eyes and then the smiley face like I said I'm no artist guys so don't make fun of my artwork um, if all I'm doing is using the pen tool that's it that's my outline right there. I've got a, I've got a happy face, and I'm ready to start putting colors in. So to fill this area, to make them a yellow happy face, you're going to touch this down here. It asks me if it's okay to finish editing the line. I say okay, 
And now I lose the ability to edit this in any way other than uh, by using the pen tool. Um, but I do get to fill the color. So you just touch the area that you want the color to apply to and there it goes. Uh, if you want to get a preview of what your design is going to look like, you can hit set here and it makes it a realistic preview so you can actually see the stitches and whatnot in there. So it's a silly, silly design um, and it's just a big filled in, you know, it's going to be a, a big giant yellow circle that's just a fill stitch. Um, but, you know, you can have a little kid draw on the screen and they might enjoy that. Uh, so that's the gist of adding the lines in and then adding colors to it. I'm going to clear this out and I'm going to show you some of the other tools that we have here. Uh, this button here will actually let me change the color of my line. So if I wanted to have red lines, say, now my lines are red. I don't know if, you, if that's going to come through on this video or not. I'm new with this video camera, so we'll see what happens. You can probably see it a little better here on this screen where it makes a 3D preview of it, where I've actually made my outline a different color. Okay, so that's what this second button does. Um, I'm going to hit and clear out, so we've got an empty space here. Uh, we've got this button here. This is your straight line tool. So if I draw, if I click somewhere and then click somewhere else, oh, never mind. You click and hold. Yeah, that's how it does it. So you click and hold, and it draws a perfectly straight line from wherever you started clicking. So if you can't draw straight lines to save your life, uh, like I barely can, that's what that tool does. And this one, let's see. This one works the way I thought the other one did, where it just draws a straight line straight from the first place you click to the next place you click. This, I think, would be easier for me to use if I wanted to make perfectly straight lines. I'd probably use this tool. Okay, so this is point to point. You go point to point to point to point, and it's going to build your shape, whereas this one just draws a single straight line. It doesn't continue the straight line. Right, that's the difference between these two. I'm going to clear. All right, next button's our perfect circle tool. Click and drag and it creates a circle. Whoop, 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 whoop. The farther away from your original point that you get, the bigger your circle is. So if I'd have wanted my happy face to be a perfect circle, that's what I could have done. And if I wanted him to have perfect straight lines for eyes, I could have done that. It's still not perfect. It looks like he's looking down. Whatever. Uh, so that's, that's that. Uh, let's see, uh, we're gonna clear this out. All right, so that's a perfect circle, that's easy. This is a perfect oval, where I can actually control both the width and the height of my circle, instead of just the circumference. So you see, if I move up, it becomes longer. If I move to the right or left, it becomes fatter or skinnier. And you see how that works. That's this button. Let me clear that. Next we have perfect squares. Oops, I accidentally hit my pen tool, though. All right, perfect square is this one, this tool right here. Just click and drag, and it starts putting a square right from where you clicked. Farther down you go, the bigger it gets. Same with the circle. And again, we've got a perfect square here. Or not a perfect square, a perfect rectangle, I mean. Where it'll let me do both the height and the width, rather than just keeping it all to scale. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this button does. What does it do? Oh, it lets you select things. Let's see. Alright, so I've selected that. Oh, look at that. Okay. <laughs> I never play with this, so I'm learning about it as I do this myself here. Uh, let's see, so I need a couple of... Um, actually, no. I don't need a couple of them. I've got this red box. When I hit this button, it lets me draw this red box, which is a selection box. So I've basically selected this element here. And if I hit this button, look what it does. Doesn't do anything. Oh yeah, there we go. See? It's made a copy. You touch this, and then you can move around where you want the copy of it to be. What happens if I deselect it? It still stays. Cool. So we could select both of these now. Hit the copy button. Yeah, now we got, now we got four of them. Well, that's pretty neat. Okay, so that's what that button does. And then this one, I bet you this is going to um, delete these two. No? What does the scissors do? Select you. Scissor key. Okay. I guess it didn't want to delete. So yeah, this lets me highlight something and delete it. 
Look at that, it left the top part of it. So if I wanted a half a circle, check it out. Alright, so I've got a circle. Use my select tool, select half the circle, and hit the cut. There we go, I've got a half a circle. That's pretty cool, I didn't know you could do that until I just started monkeying with it just now. And then this eraser lets you go in and it works just like a pencil eraser. It's got like a little square on the end. You can kind of see the square moving. I don't know if you can in the video or not, but there's a little square that's following my movements around as I'm erasing bits of my line. So that's what that button does. Um, all right, so uh, those are your, your basic tools. Um, now we're going to forget all about all of them except for the pen tool because that's what we're going to use to trace uh, the, the um, Ravens logo. So I'm going to have a, a short break here um, and then I'm going to set it up so that we can watch me trace the Ravens logo. All right, and um, here we go. All right, so this is my tablet, uh, and like I said, it's really tough to just draw freehand on it. But I printed out this um, this Ravens logo here. Just I downloaded it off the internet, printed it out on my printer, and I'm gonna tuck this under this little window here so that I have something to trace. the The window has little lines on it here and here. I don't know if you can see them in the video or not, but lines here and here and you gotta keep within those lines it's about seven and a quarter inches or so so that's how big you want to have your um, thing printed out if you're gonna print something out make it seven and a quarter inches or so because uh, that's how much space you have in there to trace so alright so we got that um, I'm gonna start tracing it I'm gonna set up the video to record a little bit differently than this though so let me stop here for a sec okay so um, here we, here we go, I'm going to start tracing this Ravens logo. So I just put it in here, I've got my, my pen here. Uh, this pen actually does use a battery, so if you never put a battery in it, it's a AAA battery. Um, I'm going to start on this part of the logo all the way at the tip here. So hopefully I remember where I am. It's tough because you don't actually make a line, you have to just kind of remember where you were. Um, but uh, I'm going to start tracing here. And I'm going to keep cutting between uh, me physically drawing it and what's appearing on the screen. Alright, so here we go. I'm no artist, by the way. Anyone with a steadier hand would end up with a better looking line than I do. I've never actually fully done this design. Like I kinda started it earlier, got distracted. So hopefully this is something doable. I don't see why it wouldn't be though. Seems pretty easy. So right now I'm literally just tracing the outside edge of my bird, my raven. And that's where I started. Okay. So there's the outside. Now we're going to do the inside of that line. Okay, and now I'm going to do the purple. I don't know whether this is such a good idea tracing uh, this line and the way that I'm doing it here. Guess we'll find out later, huh? We actually go to sew it out. Okay, that should be the end of that. Uh, what should be next? How about the white of the beak? That comes in from here. Uh, try to not forget where I started, because I forgot to look. I think I started out here. Yeah, something like that. Alright, so there's his beak. Let's do his eye. I'm just going to do his eye just one color. 
All right. And now we need the uh, the B for Baltimore on here. Hmm. Okay. And you know what? I think I'm just going to make that all one color. Let's see a couple of spots where I missed. Oh, that's that's awful. <laughs> There's actually an undo button right here. I'm going to go ahead and undo that cuz that looks terrible. And I'm going to Look at this magnifying glass here. What's this do? Oh, there we go. See, look, this magnifying glass, what this did is it just put up a spot where I can see. Yeah, look at that. I can drag this over there. And look, I bet you, yep, sure enough, you can draw right on the screen to close off your shapes. Like, that shape wasn't closed, so I needed to close it so that I could put a color in it. Same with this one. See how that just worked? I zoomed in, and I can actually move around the design in here so that's gonna come in handy alright but this is good enough for government work here and what we're gonna do is um, now start applying uh, fill types to it so the outside one is yellow so we're gonna hit this until I'm done editing my line do yellow on the outside oops I gotta turn off magnifying I guess so yellow there okay and then the next color is black for some reason it doesn't want to let me pick black. This was doing this to me earlier. I'm just going to pick a different dark color. Uh, don't know why that was happening, but what I, oh, you know what? Probably because my outline is black. Anyway, so that's a dark color. We'll use that as black. Um, and then we want purple for here and here and here. And maybe here it didn't fill in. I can't. It doesn't seem to let me fill that part in, but that's okay. I'm not going for 100% perfection here. Make that white. Make that white. Or maybe I should have made that gold. But whatever. I mean, you can pick whatever colors you want when you're doing it. And we'll make this red. No! I wanted the eye red. Alright, let's try this again. Red on the eye, buddy. Uh, there we go. Oops. Man, this is really annoying trying to pick my colors here. I don't know why it won't let me do black in here. It's annoying me. But, uh, it's not dark enough. Okay, close enough. Alright, so let's bring this over to the... Uh, to the preview and see what it looks like. <laughs> you know, that's not a half terrible Ravens logo. Look at that. I mean, that would sew out. That is clearly the Ravens logo. Does it look as good as a professionally digitized logo? No, but again, I just made it in, you know, 10 minutes, not even really, tracing uh, a thing I printed off my computer with stuff that came with my embroidery machine. How, how cool is that? So anyway, to actually save this thing, I would have to uh, hit this button down here where it's got a red arrow pointing to a symbol, USB symbol. So you hit the red arrow pointing to the USB symbol, and great, I didn't have enough space on this one. Well, I wasn't going to save it anyway. I would assume that you would have one without uh, that's not completely full uh, plugged into yours, and um, you'd be able to save it. Let's try. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it's not going to let me because this USB drive is full. Anyway, you would hit this button and save it, and then you'd be able to bring it into your machine um, normally and sew it out. That's it. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one.